Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy day 28 of the challenge. Before we look at the challenge, speaking of the challenge, I have one very special announcement. If you missed it on Aquarius Rising Africa this morning, I will tell you again on this on this uh, update video, but I will also link the episode to Aquarius Rising Africa where we spoke about this this morning on Wednesday. That's the day after tomorrow, the 30th of November. We are going to be doing an interactive live show on solutions by Aquarius Rising Africa. What do I mean by this? So 11 o'clock Eastern time, the time zone that I am in, which is the same as New York, so the East Coast of the United States, 11 a.m. for me, which is 6 p.m. for our friends in South Africa. We are going to be doing a live show again, not on my channel, but on Solutions by Aquarius Rising Africa, where we are going to invite any of you guys who participated in the 30-day Shadow Work cha Challenge to join us on screen if you want to. So what is going to happen? How are we going to do this? So when the live show starts, again, 11 o'clock my time, 6 p.m. their time. So wherever you are in the world, just figure that out, the hour difference, and we will be live. Live. Mornay will be dropping a link into the chat box where you can hit the link. It'll bring you backstage, and then we'll pull you up on camera for you to talk about your experience during the shadow work challenge if you want to. We can only have 12 people backstage at one time. So there is going to be a time limit for people. If we have a lot of people in line, you'll get like five minutes to talk. And um, and yeah, we would love to have you. Um, I will be reminding you guys about this every single day. If you're not subscribed to Solutions by Aquarius Rising Africa, I will put a link down in the description box to get subscribed so you can participate in this live chat about all of the stuff that we have been doing during this 30 days because you were literally almost done with the 30-day challenge, guys. You are rock stars you've stuck it out the signal chat is popping it's on fire you are literally the storm that we have been waiting for because you are healing yourself you are fixing your own vibration you are taking that vibration you're rising up creating that huge wave that thunder that lightning that's going to make a difference in this world and so you guys should all be very 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 proud of yourself of course the last day of the challenge you have to create your own challenge for the month of December. And I have said before, and I'll reiterate it again, December for most cultures around the world is a big month because we have Christmas and we have New Year. And that's a big, big, big holiday, especially here in America. Christmas is like the math daddy of holidays. And so um, it's gonna be a stressful month. And so the most important things you do when you're creating your own challenges, make sure you are exercising six days a week and you are journaling. Everything else, if you want to add in a little bit extra, you can. You can go back and redo the Kuan Yin stuff for the childhood trauma. You can explore betrayal more. You can look at, you know, therapist uh, Dr. Romney has really good videos on YouTube about betrayal. Um, you can even do the whole Sophia Code over again if you want to explore that again during the month of December. Totally up to you and what you want to do. I also encourage you to do something that scares you this month. So maybe that's training for a 5K run or a 10k run or hell even a marathon um, maybe that's signing up for reiki courses or signing up to go start going to a yoga shala or maybe as kathy said in our ap episode with her maybe that's taking dance lessons as an adult whatever it is that you want to do that kind of intrigues you but you're a little scared of it do it let that be the gift that you give yourself for this Christmas. Do it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and look at our uh, challenge board. Okay, so again, we're at Monday, November 28th. Make your bed up. Your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. We know why. And today you got to pick your exercise. So you could have picked from any of the previous workouts, um, or is there another workout you really want to try? Find a YouTube and do it or go to a class that offers that workout with your experience, have confidence in your choice. I saw somebody in the signal group put that they were gonna find the old Billy Blake's Tybo um, workout on uh, YouTube and I laughed so hard. I used to have that VHS, the VHS for the Tybo. I used to have it. So I totally remember Billy Blake's. So that's awesome. That's great. Uh, uh, you can go find some old jazzercise. I've been watching the series Physical on uh, Apple Plus and um, 
the whole jazzercise thing, you know, go back and review some of this stuff, right? You're going to do again your cold shower and then you can pick from any of the other meditations. You can do the om chanti, the raking, the sound bowl healing, or if there's another meditation out there you want to try, do it today. All right, your journal, what exercise did you pick? What meditation did you pick and why? Did you try something new? If so, what was your experience? Do you feel like you have more confidence in exploring different modalities on your path of healing? What did this challenge teach you about picking workouts? So what have you actually learned about picking workouts? I said in a signal group last night, and I'll say it again, your value as a human being has fuck all to do with how well you do an exercise. You could be the least athletic person in the world. It doesn't matter because you're using the workout. You're using the exercise as a spiritual modality of healing as a way to create friction in the physical body to pull things up to the surface for you to then work through all right so what have you learned about this are you are you now the type that's not going to shy away from hard work are you learning to find the humor in the times where something is complicated right what are you what are you learning about the workouts let me know down in the comment section below um, go back and reread all your food journaling. Start from the very first entry up to today. Study your responses to food. What did you learn about your diet? What foods cause you upset stomach, gas, constipation, diarrhea? What foods cause you anxiety, depression, or make you sleepy? Can you now recognize if you're reacting this way to a food, then that is not a food that is good for you? How do you feel about this? On the flip side, which foods gave you energy? didn't bloat you, helped your dig digestion. Can you now recognize that if you're reacting this way to these foods, then these are the foods that are good for you? How do you feel about this? So foods that may give you energy, that don't bloat you, that don't make you foggy headed, these are the foods that are actually okay for you. Is there anything about how your body reacts to certain foods that surprised you? Does this challenge your programming on nutrition from the controllers? Does food being an energy that needs to align with your energy make more sense to you now? How does eating foods that work with your body affect your workouts? Go back and review the dosha system from the first Saturday self-study. Your food journal was a practice in starting to understand how your body works with and responds to energy. If you want to go further, start to follow the dosha diet once you know about what your dosha is. By going deeper into this, it is recommended you find an Ayurvedic doctor. And the same bedtime routine. So let's go ahead and look at tomorrow, Tuesday, November 29th. Again, you're making your bed up and your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. So today you can choose from 45-minute kickboxing or half primary series or the 45-minute bar. Once again, you're going to do your cold shower. And then you've got Reiki meditation with Emmy. All right, journaling for tomorrow with two days left to go. Go back and review the chakra system and Reiki healing from our previous self-study Saturday. How has your thoughts on these topics changed over the course of the challenge? Are you feeling more in touch with your chakras and where your work lies within the chakra system? What about Reiki? Do you have a better understanding of your sacred energy that flows through your body? How has exercise, journaling, and meditation helped you settle more into your body and giving you a deeper understanding of these energy cycles in your body called chakras? How have these daily challenge helped you connect to the flow of your sacred spirit that Reiki helps you align with in order to heal yourself? Or do you have a better understanding of your ability to heal yourself? If you felt like a victim to circumstances before this challenge, how has the perspective changed for you? Do you now have a deeper understanding of friction and obstacles? How have your life obstacles separate from exercise giving you friction to grow? For example, if you have gone through a divorce, car accident, etc., how did that experience, as painful as it was, give you the necessary friction to create something within yourself? How did that friction help you ignite your inner light? How does this experience help you view past experiences in your life? Is there a sense of liberation for you? How have these experiences changed your life and brought you to places in your life you would not have gone without the friction of the experience? And then once again, you're going to be turning off all your electronics and going to bed early. And then tomorrow, we will look at the last day of the challenge. 
All right, you guys. So once again, I really hope that you will join us on Wednesday. I'll keep reminding you guys. I'm going to put it in the signal group. I'll put it in the description box below. I would love to see you there on Wednesday so you get a chance to explain to everybody your personal experience going through this, what you learned. We all want to celebrate with you your progress as a group, as a singular person, everything collectively that's been done. I cannot wait to see how that goes on Wednesdays. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I'll talk to you soon.